We're going, right? Yep. Hey, welcome to Chaplain Chat. We are at the warehouse worship service that meets the Visalia Rescue Mission. And I got two guys here, but Cisco, you hang on for a minute. Okay. All right. Welcome to Chaplain Chat. All right. And, and I, man, I forgot your name again. Gary. Gary. Gary, <laughs> welcome to Chaplain Chat. Gary, you are, we had a great talk, yeah. but... The other place you hang your hat for worship is where? Crossroads Community Crossroads. Church. And how did Crossroads get started with the warehouse? Well, that uh, combination of Pastor Cisco uh, bringing, right his followers, bringing his followers to the convention center and uh, where we had uh, a lot of the, the poor and the homeless coming over there, which was great. That's where they needed to be at church. But the uh, convention center decided that wasn't such a good thing, so we uh, rented a warehouse building on Bridge Street. And I remember that because that's where I came one time before. Anyway, go ahead. This and this rented uh, a warehouse building at Crossroads, uh, set it up with a food pantry in there, and they paid the bills for many a years down there to get the uh, warehouse on its feet and going. So now. Now we are uh, uh, self, uh, where we, uh, by donations, take care of ourselves here at the warehouse now. Fantastic. So, what, what does this ministry mean for you? Well, you know, you get to see uh, uh, people being uplifted again, people that uh, are down and out. Uh, they feel there's no, uh, uh, no hope. We try to restore hope for, by first by giving them a meal and uh, talking personal relationships is, wow. is wow. what we're into. Wow. And you know what? Uh, maybe it ain't today, but in the future, something that is said for God's word will touch them. And uh, there's such a, at Crossroads, I see such a, a great uh, success rate that has uh, people that have came through the warehouse now that are going to church and contributing to other churches. Oh, wow, wow. And they wow. say, how many success stories is there? My gosh, I only need one. Only one. Only, only one. one. But, only I, one. but I get to see 15 to 20 success wow. stories every Sunday when I attend. Uh, oh, wow. oh. Hey, before I, hey, camera guy, I want you to do a quick scan, just a quick scan. And because now, just because they're setting up for a meal, we just had a worship service. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah. He's good. He's good. And coming right back. We just had a worship service here. Now, they meet at the Visalia Rescue Mission. That's where you're at, in their chapel. And this is Cisco. Cisco. You're the... And, John. And Cisco. And I get the joy of meeting with Cisco every Tuesday morning. We meet at the First Church of Denny's, don't we? Yes. yes. Cisco, <laughs> tell me... Um, My Bible study you. buddy. Uh, tell me something about the, the okay, warehouse. Tell you. me something about you. What is this ministry for you? Well, uh, you know, Jesus came to preach the gospel to the broken heart. You know, bring sight to the blind, mend up the weak, you know, set the captives free. And, uh, you know, we just believe that if we proclaim and profess God's word without exception, excuse, or apology, that uh, this, uh, this word, the truth, has the ability to affect lives from the inside out. And, uh, you know, Romans 3, 4 says, let God be true and every man a liar. And uh, so we just try to stick with preaching the gospel uh, straight out of the Bible and uh, you know, we just uh, enjoy seeing fruit uh, in those that are otherwise marginalized within this community. Cisco, I gotta tell you something. You are not gonna stop the bull anymore, are you? No. I, 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 I was listening to your message. No. You're a bullfighter, <laughs> but what does a bullfighter do? He lets him go. <laughs> you gotta let him go with let the Let him go. You know. And they may fall. And they may fall. You know, because, uh, man, you can't fix anybody, and you can't make anybody do anything. But what you can do is, like the Good Samaritan, you can lay your life down as a living sacrifice and uh, present yourself to people in a way that they can grab uh, a glimmer of hope. Wow, wow. And uh, we're just not that far from those that are on the streets, you know, that uh, it hasn't been that long ago uh, when we were addicted and in prison. Wow. And, uh, you know, living uh, these lives uh, outside of the will of God. And so we know if there 
there's hope uh, for us that there's hope for anybody. Wow. God's good. Hey, you know, this guys, I want to thank you. This is awesome. And here's my, this is how I sign off a yeah. chaplain chat. Yeah. Are you ready for this? All right. You guys, you guys got a big part. Because I want to say, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to say, I want to thank you guys for being, and you get on, and you get to say chaplain chat. Big sign off. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. And guys, I want to thank you for being on. Say chaplain chat. Chaplain chat. All right.